Hello you over 3,000 amazing people and the 82% who have yet to subscribe. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of update on my journey into Warhammer 40k. <laughs> That's right, I am on a journey to learn how to play Warhammer 40k and it's pretty going pretty well. So obviously if you've been watching my other videos you'll know that this is stemmed because of my Howling Griffins army project which is coming along really well. This guy is almost ready, you know, I've got just got to finish his arms off and then he'll be ready and then that'll be like two dreadnoughts down of the three that I have which is so cool, can't wait to get them on the table. Um, but yeah, there's a whole host of stuff coming up coming in regards to the army uh, i've got myself some scouts to work on um, certain things that i've learned and where have i learned this so obviously if you've watched my other videos you will have seen that i signed up to the vanguard tactics um, master class for space marines and obviously as i've said before if you want to go and check that out for free you can head over to their youtube channel and they have the gladius strike force um, section of the course for free as a playlist up on their youtube channel right now so you can go and check that out if you really want to but i've really enjoyed it and i played a game last night and straight away i noticed big differences um first i was understanding what i needed to do and when i needed to switch my doctrines which is really really good i knew when to play my stratagems um, in regards to I played my stratagem to get my assault run and charge and then do the assault on into Gazgol Thraka. Uh, I did it also um, later on in the game where I used the Dapper strategies again to switch into onto my repulsor tank uh, executioner so I could make sure that it could go ex 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 it would ignore cover and then also get plus one AP to my shots, which made my shooting a little bit more opponent, and also forced my opponent to spend a CP to go to ground, so he would get cover again. Um, all these little things that I'm learning now coming in, and I even at one point, one of the examples in the game, in the, in the masterclass, was how to position and having two units on an objective, and, and making it a little bit worse for your uh, opponent to sort of want to run in and get, actually, actually, actually happened. Like, my opponent had to charge my intercessors on the objective, and I had my executioner on the side laden with the blade guard, so they could have jumped out and then assaulted into him and then really wrecked him. So it was really cool. So there's a lot of cool things sort of starting to take shape. So we are having a 1,500-point league at the club, and it's going to be super cool. So... Basically, the idea is not to be overly competitive, but that's not what that's going to turn into. So it's going to give me a sort of a little bit, a sort of a um, a look at more competitive 40k uh, with my view of eventually going to doing some events, which is super exciting. Hence the reason why I've picked up some scouts. Um, and the reason why I've got the scouts is it allows me to basically definitely from last night's game it's shown me um being able to pick a unit up in my movement phase and then drop them into strategic reserve so in my next turn i can then go and start capturing objectives at the back of the end of the field and stuff like that especially for uh, um, objectives uh, secondaries that really sort of make that um in regards into prior nexus i'm planning on getting prior nexus next week uh once i've got it and had a look through i'm going to sort of do a little review video on it for anybody who's unsure what prior nexus is or anything like that but yeah i'm going to be starting doing a lot of videos on some units i'm going to be doing a video looking at the scouts at why they're so good for space marine players and also my smash captain because that boy is baller and he's a, such a wrecking machine um one of the coolest things is from last night's game is I killed Gaskell Thracker, which is so cool. Um, but yeah, even my chaplain claimed him. So yeah, I'm really loving 40k right now. Um, so much so that I have very little interest in playing Age of Sigma, which is really weird. Um, that's probably partly because of Space Marine 2, because obviously Space Marine 2 is, is so good right now. Um, 
but I'm getting the use of Space Marines and I'm really, really enjoying it. But the the Vanguard Cut Tactics course really opened my mind into certain things that I would never really have thought of doing. So I'm now looking at maybe getting some Hell Blasters, um, and I want a cool conversion with a, a an, an ancient carrying a banner because I found out that if I can put a lieutenant or a captain or chapter master into a unit I can also put this guy into a unit as well and I can really get an old school type banner stood on a rock because you know tactical rocks are cool and then have this really big cool free-handed um, Howling Griffins banner to really make the army look awesome um, so yeah I've been home in an hour and obviously we're starting another Space Marine army um, to replace the Howling Griffins um, because I was thought like you know a, a lot of things like maybe I do need to be playing a more than just the generic Space Marine army to get more out of the Space Marines like Dark Angels, Blood Angels or Black Templars, uh, even the Space Wolves when they come down the line. But then I kind of thought to myself, why just not play Ultramarines? I already have Rebuta Gilliman, I can convert Marius Kalgar to not be the chapter master of the Howling Griffins, and I can do that with sort of like Tigerius as well if I really needed to. So I'm thinking I'm going to just do that. Uh, and that way then I can just run them as Ultramarines, use Rebuta Gilliman when I want to, use Marius Kalgar, who's a really cool character, and then use um, my the, the Tigerius as well, and just run them as Ultramarines, because they basically are an Ultramarine successor chapter. Um, and if anybody has a Titus, a, a Lieutenant Titus model, that they don't want, and they want to get rid of, drop me a PM, uh, drop me a message, you can even check out my um, Instagram channel and drop me a PM on there and we can have a chat about what you want for him because I really want a Titus model in my army because he's such a cool character. Um, so yeah, so cool. But yeah, there's lots of th cool things uh, I'm planning for my Space Marines. I'm really excited. And if I do do a second 40k army, it's potentially probably going to be Eldari because Eldar, I had a lot of a big Eldar army back in 4th edition. Uh, and I sadly got rid of them all, their uh, ex-wife. Um, and yeah, so I'd like to get them back and I really would love to paint a avatar of war um, because that would just be an absolute amazing miniature to paint. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be cool. But yeah, that, this is just a little update video on my stepping into and learning Warhammer 40K. It's going really well, I'm getting super excited. Do not worry, I am planning stuff for Blood and Plunder soon. Um, I just need to get a couple of bits and pieces and then we can actually start getting playing that game and it's gonna be super fun. Uh, and yeah, lots of stuff coming. So, if you, you know what's coming. If you know it, if you, if you like what I'm doing, Please like, subscribe, share and all that jazz. And obviously, um, check out my members and my patrons. Uh, I'm going to start getting the painting videos up as well. I literally just have to finish one model. Then I can get the Howling Griffins done. And I have a Blood Angel Cherry Red video to come. And a Tyranid video to come as well for um, Hive Storm, for Hive Fleet uh, Leviathan. Uh, nice, quick and easy as well. So it's going to be super fun. So if you like what I'm doing... Obviously, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, peeps. Bye.